My name is Cassie Latham and I'm a Tungurong woman of the Kulin Nation. This exhibition represents who I am as a Warak Bajur, meaning a medicine woman and a healer as well. The beautiful, significant, unique pieces are a part of my journey of healing and belonging and connecting to culture. And I'd like to share that journey with you. With this crisis going on, I know that there's a lot of insecurities and feelings of, of doom and, and despair and loneliness as well. So with creating these beautiful pieces, I'm just hoping that I can give some nurturing and comfort and some support in these times. I'd like to share with you these clap sticks that are very important in ceremony. By like clapping them can cleanse. So they are a cleansing ceremonial tool and dance and song, but I like to use these clap sticks to cleanse my area before I do ceremony. Also to cleanse my sacred space when I do talks and everything as well. So this is a healing mat and when you have a look at this on the virtual gallery, you'll see that it is quite large because it is used as a mat to sit on, reflect and also get nurtured by the beautiful emu feathers that do surround this mat. It brings a lot of conversation to how and why our people did use mats as a floor covering but also to be able to sit down and teach knowledge and culture and reflect as well on, on your mental health and well-being. This is my Tandurum necklace and I wear this in ceremony and dance uh, when I'm with my people, the Tongarong people, the Kulin Nation. So every year we do a dance called Tandurum and we come together and celebrate our culture. So this is made out of snake bones, native sand palm, beautiful feathers, charcoal, wax and ochre. It's also got possum skin up the top. So in dancing with the beautiful traditional adornments uh, creates a beautiful healing and peace for one that wears these. The reflection mirror, and this is a mirror that I weaved with beautiful eco dyed berries that are healing berries too. So the mountain pepper berries and the strawberry currants. By soaking the beautiful rapi and sand palm in these and bringing that colour into this beautiful weaving around a mirror also brings healing and medicine so it's really a beautiful reflection of who people are what you do see in the mirror many years ago our women would go and collect beautiful river reeds while they were collecting the river reeds you'd actually find the healing of the sounds that the reeds will make very similar to this in the winds that they blow and they sing a song and in ceremony I love nothing more than to wear the beautiful reeds of the rivers and mountain people. My possum skin cloak that is created for our people to keep our, ourselves warm and nurtured in times of distress and need. Also too I use these cloaks in ceremony, uh, also song and dance and I take to schools when I do my cultural education programs. Uh, to nurture children and to um, get them to feel the empowerment of these beautiful cloaks. We have the fur on one side and we have skins on the other and the skins actually tell stories in a journey uh, sewn up with kangaroo sinew and also wax thread and painted with ochre and burnt and, and engraved with flock as well. So these are a beautiful healing journey of ceremony, of family, of gathering, our totems as well. I would just like to um, acknowledge the Melton City Council and everyone that has helped put this beautiful um, exhibition together for me in these times of COVID-19. And I would also like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the country that my exhibition is being showcased. And also to just a reminder just to stay safe, keep well and we'll see you in the future hopefully personally, and you can see my works as well.